thank you for watching. My name is Hope. This is my first ever YouTube video that I'm making. I've decided now is the best time to do it since we're all literally stuck at home for new, for who knows how long. Whether you've been a stay-at-home parent or are now newly a stay-at-home parent, here are some ideas on what you can do with your toddlers. I decided to come up with a few ideas and make this video to help out any other parents out there, caregivers who are stuck at home with their littles and just need some fresh ideas on what to do to keep busy from for who knows how long we're going to be stuck inside for. Every one of these ideas you can do from home yourself using materials that you have. You don't necessarily have to use the materials that I use, which is the great thing about this video. Use what you got. That's my whole motto. Use what you got on hand. You don't need to run to the store because you can't run to the store. You got to stay home. Definitely please like and subscribe if you do. I do plan on making a lot more videos to get us through this quarantine time and just in general some fun ideas to do with your little ones. Please enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. All right, this first one is an obstacle course using any cushions, pillows, chairs your little ones have, whatever you got, and just put them in a line. Um, and I usually put a snack or a toy at the end just for her to have a little goal to reach at. This next one is have a little dance party. We love having Alexa play different songs. Disney Hits is our favorite playlist at the moment. What are your guys' favorite songs to have Alexa play? We are always looking for new songs to dance to. We can only listen to the same ones for so long without getting annoyed by them. Um, here's just blowing bubbles. Simple. Who doesn't have bubbles? Obviously, she's loving it right there. <laughs> Such a goofball. Alright, and this next one is my favorite using any wipe lids you have these i'm using pacifier wipes just because we go th through them so much i have a ton and using any fabrics with different textures you might have lying around of course when i made this when my daughter was like seven months old i went to the fabric store and just found a whole bunch of different fabrics to use um she's now 14 months old and absolutely still loves this but of course you can't really go out to the store right now so use whatever you have any different textures, towels, any old fabrics you have, just cut them up, glue them onto the lids, and there you go. It's a really fun touch and feel activity for your little ones to do. And I just glued mine to an old cheap Dollar Tree frame. I did put cardboard on the back just to have some more stability and structure because it was a, a flimsy frame. As you can see, those are a little loose. My daughter's a little rough with this. For those of you who use reusable wipe containers, not the disposable ones, here's another project you can use with your containers and felt or any other fabric, even like a cut up old t-shirt, whatever you've got. My daughter loves pulling things out of containers and putting them back in, so this activity is so fun. Especially when she tries to pull out the real wipes and wants to waste them, so if you're the one who loves pulling out wipes, this is an awesome little alternative just use this was felt that i used leftover from a halloween costume that i diy for my daughter um just cut them up little shapes obviously mine aren't perfect and then just line them up overlapping them one by one doesn't matter how you do it just one by one overlap them here's a little overview of the the finished overlapping and then what you're going to do is at an angle you're going to start rolling them up just keep rolling all the way until you have finished and then once you are done rolling them up you're going to place them back into the wipe container like so here I am kind of struggling with one hand as I'm trying to film. And my daughter was so excited. She was ready to go. It's so simple, but yet it keeps them entertained for so long. There she is just going at it. Such a fun and easy, easy, easy project to do for your little ones. Alright, this next one is a sensory bag. Now you can use literally anything you have. Who else loved Lisa Frank when you were younger? These stickers are literally 15 years old, finally putting them to use. 
Um, this works best with like a clear substance like hair gel, baby oil. I did not have any of that on hand, so we used shaving cream, which wasn't as fun because it's not see-through, but if your little ones are older, you can do like a hide-and-seek and kind of feel through it and try to find the items that are in there. But the shame cream definitely felt cooler than hair gel. So anything, you can literally make any type of sensory bags just to have your little one feel around, find the objects that you put in there. So fun. This next one, you're just going to need paper, a gallon Ziploc bag, and some paint. Mess-free finger painting. Now this one I've tried several times. I did it when my daughter was younger and she had nothing to do with it. Now at 14 months old. She definitely was more interested in it, still a little bit more interested in the tape than the actual painting itself, but she loved it a lot more when I gave her an object to kind of draw with in the paint, as you can see. That kept her a little bit more busy until she decided to throw everything on the floor. <laughs> she was being a little sinker that day. Now this next one, so fun, so cute, perfect for Easter and spring. Um, definitely try this one. I love doing foot crafts. I've done Halloween ones. Every season I try to do one every holiday. Now what you do is just take the paint and paint your little one's foot. <laughs> there she was trying to fight me. A little ticklish. So just do good layers of paint. Um, this is kind of a trial and error. I kind of have a as much as I've done painting my daughter's feet for different crafts, I still am not a pro as much as I like to think I am. Um, definitely do a thick layer of paint so you don't have to constantly repaint. This way you can just stamp, stamp, stamp on the paper without having to go back and repaint like I have done. Um, but once you do get that good layer of paint on, then you're going to take your paper and stamp it. I was trying to get a good shot. It's kind of hard to see that was a failed attempt. <laughs> Um, and it, it takes you a few tries. I usually don't ever get the hang of it till after like at least the third or fourth try. That attempt, I finally got a good foot, as you can see, but then I ran out of space on paper. So it is just trial and error. She was totally not interested. As you can see, this is the final little project, painting on some ears, getting a little cotton ball. You can see my failed attempts on that paper as well. So I only got two successful bunnies out of all my little feet that I tried, but that's okay. At least I got two winners. Super cute. And then here's a little overview of the finished project. I just cut them out, wrote happy, happy Easter 2020 on it. And I'm just going to put them up on the fridge, maybe frame them, give them to grandparents, whatever. Now this next one, my daughter still isn't into coloring just yet. She still is at that stage where she puts everything in her mouth. You can see there's probably some bite marks on these and likes to throw them down. But definitely that's an option for your little ones if they do like coloring. Now here, weirdly enough, my daughter loves cleaning with me. Even has her own little Dyson vacuum to match her mama's. Um, Funny enough, all I have to do is say the word vacuum and my daughter gets so excited she knows it's time to clean, which is awesome that I can get my housework done, but it's also fun for her too. So give your kids a little duster. If they have a play vacuum, let them vacuum along with you. You're getting housework done and it's fun for them too. They can feel involved. Puzzles, bring out all the puzzles. I totally recommend also these flashcards if you can get them. I'll link them down below. I'll link all these items down below that I can find. Um, those are touch and feel flashcards. Over here, I'm just doing a little overview of all our little toys and putting them in color order. All the little toys, bring them out and organize them by color. It's just a fun way for your kid to learn colors and they can just see all the different textures and things of different toys. Here's a little overview of the living room. The living room is our main space where we're hanging out all the time. It turned into a playroom. As you can see, no longer can have all my cute little decorations out, but that's okay. This is our main space. This is where we hang out. But we do feel stuck sometimes, get annoyed being in the living room all day long. 
especially when it's cold and we can't go outside. So I keep a lot of toys in her bedroom. We can go in there. It's a new little environment. Um, I also keep toys in her closet that we don't play with often and bring them out when I see that she's getting bored with her current toys. And it's like Christmas all over again. She's having fun, thinks she got new stuff. It's the best. There's, I just keep little walkers and blocks and things in her closet. I also keep lots of books. She loves coming in her room, pulling out different books. I also keep stuffed animals in her room. Just different things from the living room that we can come in and have a different environment and different toys to play with. Here's her little bookshelf that's a little disorganized. She's obsessed with pulling books and putting them back in on that shelf. Again, just a little overview of her room. And where I keep all her extra little toys and diapers, as you can see. Alright, and we also like to go in the basement. She has taken over her dad's man cave. Um, this is where we like to go to just to get out of our same little area. Like I said, if you can have another room with, with other toys, definitely do that. Especially with the quarantine, we can't leave the house. Where we live, it's too cold to play outside. So having different options and places to go in the house is key. Just to stay sane for me and just keep your child from getting bored as well. And hey, we're all trying to be healthy at this time, so if you're taking emergency like we are, you can make some emergency flashcards. Now, if you are one of those people who hoarded all the toilet paper, I'm joking, I'm joking, but here is an activity you can do with all the toilet paper rolls that you may have. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This was my first ever video, like I said. Uh, sorry if it's a little poorly edited i tried my best i'll get better bear with me um thank you so much for watching it really truly means everything to me i hope you guys comment like and subscribe i know that's what everyone says in their youtube videos um i truly do it um it would mean everything to me thanks so much for watching my video again please comment and like subscribe follow me on instagram connect with me in some way let me know you really like this video because it will really give me the courage to make more videos i have so many more ideas i would like to share with you guys all right, guys, stay calm, stay home, wash your hands. We're literally all in this together. See you next time.